we are thrilled to be co-implementers of the Women for Water and Peace project. This is a project which sits perfectly within the work that we're doing in Hashtag Transform Freetown, our four-year initiative to bring urban development and transformation to our city. Under the Women for Water and Peace, the key thing there we're trying to solve is actually reducing conflicts in communities. And I think one of the big things there that people should know is that what you do find is that in many of these communities, or maybe all these communities, the people that actually go most of the time to fetch water is women and girls. We they go to most problem for water business, especially with Pekina, like I've seen at this level. So, when she do clean and can water side, now your fetch go take place. Sometimes I go there for work and go call me the chair lady. You go now water side, you community a lala de de. Pass a like I can can. If I meet the girl for bully the other, I big for him. I can come inside, able to take the rubber. I get for her, I say, where well, you go? The woman, the one they strain, then get picking there. Then they strain where they can have for can get water. So this problem, it don't lead me to a teenage pregnancy then with communities then. You they see at the age of 13 years, 14 years, 15 years, because of this water constraints, where then they left the various houses there for can get water, then they get belay alongside. You see, that this is not the problem then, this way they affect our the communities then girls have to wake up um, maybe 3 a.m. and sometimes they have to miss school and sometimes they're abused when they go um, for water and there's this big time in most of these communities where they say water for water meaning that they have to give their bodies for water which is a very unfortunate incident. Well um, the entire world the population I get I get above um, 26,000 but mainly the average way that they use this water is over 10,000 people who they sustain on this particular source so what we're trying to do under the, under the peace building, the Women for Water and Peace project um, for this peace building fund, is trying to build 25 water kiosks in five communities. But at the end of the day, women and girls will run this water. But the key thing there is not only providing the water, because obviously when you provide the water, you reduce the incidence of um, water and um, girls and, and, and women going out um, all the time to fetch water, but trying to protect them. So it means that what we're trying to do here is that to make women and girls also have a voice in, in, in showing that when you're talking about water issues in the communities, they also have a voice. Because what you do notice is that many of these communities, the people that actually run these water points are men. The way that this project has been designed with women at the center, we are able to bring solutions to some of the most vulnerable of our community, our women and girls. And it's not a solution that we're imposing. It's a solution that we've developed together with them, with UNCDF, with ILO. Women plays a very important part in this project. They are the ones that are affected by the violence that are taking place and therefore them being part of co-creating the solution for them is very key. So we cannot address this without their involvement. Of course, they, they contribute to decision making around the use of water and therefore their involvement and participation is very critical. The big thing is trying to reduce conflict when it comes to water issues, trying to protect women and girls because sexual and gender-based violence is a big issue surrounding water. At the end of the day, they're able to provide water 24 hours around the clock, hopefully because of the geography of things, but also they're able to get work. So it means that we're meeting um, um, SDG in terms of um, distance work. So these women were able to get money to be able to feed their families and take care of their families because we believe that by providing women uh, with economic empowerment, by creating employment opportunities for women, we are able to really build the peace alongside the water value chains that we are speaking about. So for us, it's about uh, women econ economic empowerment, it's about creating spaces for engagement, it's about addressing issues of gender-based violence, sensitization around issues of gender-based and violence, but also, as I said, you know, the, those specific spaces for dialogue to really identify and understand the key drivers of violence, um, particularly along the water valley chains and how to go about dealing with them. We really, really want to welcome the idea and we'll go buy them and we'll go make sure that we work with Tuna for where we get the problem here solved in our communities. Water for Women in Peace is close to my heart because it will impact on our journey to transform Freetown. It will make water accessible. It will create livelihood opportunities and it will be sustainable. 
We look forward to the outcomes of this. We look forward to scaling it up into more communities. And we look forward to seeing this intervention make a significant and lasting contribution to our collective journey to transform Freetown. Thank you.